Hello everyone, my name is Draconic Rose and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld Alpha 16. You may notice I sound a little different, that is because we are now testing the new microphone. Excuse any technical difficulties while I get used to it and fiddle around with my settings, which is the most important part, actually. Anyway, we have finally abandoned our main colony. This should be worse than it actually is. This means we can move on and unfortunately the puppies are going to perish, but um, hmm. they're not really worth the trouble of bringing them with us. It's a harsh life out on the rim. Over here Tiger is missing a weapon. Why? Why is Tiger missing a weapon? Oh right, because I send them over completely naked and carrying nothing so that they would fit in the drop pot. Yes, that is good. And yeah, I forgot some stuff because it's been over a week since I've last played the game. I have in fact been procrastinating on the whole, you know, microphone setting up thing. Anyway, Bartos is picking out, that is a-okay, we are not anywhere near ready to send people over to another colony and uh, then again then again these drop pods are looking very cool so we just gotta wait for more chem fuel on this side to start doing that we will also want to send some chem fuel with them because as we realized last time that whole chem fueled stove is somewhat important ah and while I'm at it, please let me know what you think of the audio. I'm actually almost whispering, but this microphone picks up everything. Everything. It's like a minus... not minus, it's like a 50-something percent on DOS settings. And I have filters on it, like an attack gate and a compressor and stuff I barely understand. Anyway, I hope it sounds okay. I will of course do some post-processing in Caden Live. Unfortunately, Caden Live doesn't support multiple audio tracks, which is bad because I would like to use it to balance the game sound with the microphone sound. As it seems like right now, the game is sounding very, very low. I'll try to fix that for next episode. So over here, Taters is cooking, and Tanner has nothing to do. Can you not? You're fine, you need materials. What kind of materials? But we have wood and organics, and apparently you have neither. Oh, isn't that a shame? Let's harvest these cacti and see if we can't get uh, more chem fuel running about. I have to say, I can't hear my keyboard uh, pick it, being picked up by OBS, that might be because of the attack gate, but then again I currently have a membrane keyboard. When I have a mechanical one, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work. Then again, I do love hearing the clackety clack of the keyboard keys on other YouTubers' videos, so maybe you will join me for that and enjoy listening to a good keyword on this series, video, thingy, channel, place. Ah, uh, yes, I am eloquent. Very eloquent. So who do we want to send over to the other side? Well, I am thinking that we'll just send Tiger and Bartos on a new trip. In which case, we better start sending Tiger. We have plenty of steel. We are waiting for Cranky Daisy to have enough crafting experience levels to craft components for us, which reminds me that they already finished all the mining here, which means I have to give them more to do. How dare these spawns give me work while I give them work? Oh 
Okay, never mind. They're kind of right about that. So let's see. Hmm. I think it's about 11 squares that we can do for well before the things collapse, I think. Yeah. Let's see. We'll keep one there. And all of that. And that one. Should be fine. On the bright side, I should be clearer now. Yay! Clear audio. Ish. Turns out that by default this microphone actually picks up the faint humming of my computer's fan. When I say it's a faint humming, I do mean that it's a faint humming. Very, very faint. That that's because I disconnected the fine rear chassis fan. Was doing a weird quackety noise, and it's not actually necessary to keep my computer at normal working temperatures. Which I realize sounds weird, but it's true. It really is. Well, except in the summer. A little bit harder in the summer, and I do have to give it a rest, but in the winter, not a problem. So I'm keeping it that way. Ha! Huh. At least until I get a new one. Also in the cards. But first I have to replace my headset, which turns out the right cup decided to break as well. Arto's fire starting spree. Let people handle that, hopefully, without burning down the entire colony. Looks like I'll have to babysit him for a little bit. I did a... right. No, I did. Stop that, Partos. Uh, I forgot how much of a pain he is. You're not even having a bad time. Look, look at your mood, your mood is fine. Honestly, I really dislike pyromaniacs for that. I mean, it does make sense that they would have minor breaks to set things on fire, but... They just set things on fire randomly. It's not logical. It's not a game mechanic that I am fond of, let's say that. Well, how is her crafting going? Uh, almost halfway to... Wait. Oh, yes, it's Crankier Daisy. thought Tiger was Crankier Daisy now for a bit. Or Narda. She continues to be old and confused and wandering around. Well... We'll have to do our best to hurry things up, but we definitely need those uh, component components being assembled. We are not looking for new pawns at this point in time. We can't afford them. Now... Mm, can't really check that without loading that drop pod, can I? So let's see here. So now Crank Your Daisy can create components, we have way too much steel. And we will be able to... No, 25 steel for per component. That That is nothing. That is nothing. We only need this deep drilling system to get everything going. Nikwana has self-tamed. How nice and useless for us. Kinda makes me sad. This colony is pretty nice. I mean, it's falling apart now, but it's pretty nice. Look at those meals. Fine meals. Left here. Wasted. Cargo pods. Also left here. Wasted. Nothing useful. I'm af actually afraid of abandoning this, though I should. Because I don't know how that interacts with the camping mod. I haven't tested that, so I'm... Not risking my save for that experiment. They are so close to the end. So, so close. We just need things to get going, we need the components being built, and then we can, you know, create the, the third way station and the fourth. 
Yes, the fourth. And then finally the relay. Then move everyone to the relay and then finally, finally make a caravan which will take us to the stars and it will be glorious. And then there will be no rim world for at least a month. Or something. I don't know yet. I haven't decided but I definitely do want to play other games on this channel. I mean, RimWorld is an amazing game. It's pretty good. It's worth the $30 or something that it costs. Like, I'm not a person who buys $30 games and I bought this game. I bought it. And and I encourage other people to buy it, even though the creator is kind of an asshole. But I do encourage people to buy it. It's great, it's amazing, it looks gorgeous. Performance could be better, but it runs on my potato PC, so that's an A plus for me. And of course, version 1.0 is about to come out. Let that sink in. I know Tynan has said that version 1.0 will be the release version, but it is not the final, final version. I think there will be more updates, but I wouldn't blame him if he wants to take a year off or something of working on this game. He's been working on it for ages. Ages. And even if you're a passionate developer, like, at some point you get sick of a creative endeavor. It just works like that. You need to rest. There's no point in just forcing yourself to work when you're burnt out. There's actually a good channel that talks about all of these things. That's Tim Rushwick's channel, Game Dev Underground. He posts daily vlogs about game development and mostly, you know, life advice, productivity and stuff. It's very good. Well, I don't watch every video there, though most creators I do watch every video, but once in a while he does have a pretty good nugget of information that even if you know it, it's worth reminding. I think it's amusing that I'm mostly looking at the audio levels in OBS and not the game, it's pretty much playing itself right now, uh, which isn't very exciting, but... Uh, Hopefully you enjoy me talking to you during these more boring moments. Let's go check on how the second way station is doing. Well, they have finished uh, fueling up the pods and they are now uh, making some more camp fuel. That is very nice and hopefully soon we can start the next way station, maybe even during this episode. Ooh have at least 10 minutes left in the episode to do that. Not the right things are going, I'm pretty sure we might be able to. Good job, Artemis. How much wood does this take? 70 wood. Hmm, a little bit expensive, but worth it. A male animal in the original colony. How terrible, I suppose. There it goes. There it goes. Oh. More visitors. Ooh, and there's a fire in the crops. That might be the end of this place. Or maybe not. Hard snow just smothering it out. Okay. I can dig that. Crank your daisy. How is your learning experience? Still level 9, about 4k to be well, 3, 200k. Pirates have come and they are attacking and oh no, ooh, I wonder if they'll mess with this poison ship. Eh, we would all be so lucky, wouldn't we? It would be very interesting to watch them do that, but doesn't look like it. Come on AI, be dumb. Attack the ship. Please attack the ship. Please. Nah, they're not gonna do it. Unfortunately, 
Daisy, why are you why are you resting? You have work to do. A lot of work. I wonder if the visitors are going to leave this way. No, they didn't. Oh, the frames. Yeah, the, the game does not like me um, zooming out a lot because it turns out that animating all that snow through an entire map costs a lot of computer resources. Anyways, they're probably going to wreck the place. Which, obviously, I don't care. But, uh, let's watch them for a bit. Anything here? Oh, they're shooting at the puppies? Yeah, they're shooting at the puppies. How terrible! Y'all are evil, evil people. And I'm not, even though I was the one who left the puppies here to die. I am a little, little, little evil. Anyway. Shrimp! Shrimp! Run away, shrimp! Leave it now! Go the opposite side. Come on, at least be quick. Ugh, they're so cute. That's one down. And... The other maybe eventually. There it goes. Poor baby. Oh, it has a roof collapse. What do you mean it was far away from any support? There's support right here. Uh, fire. I'm assuming it's yeah. All of that. The one thing I can do is this. As I do not really care about those fires, so let's just clear all this home area. See what they do. I think that is all. Oh, excuse the frame rate here a bit. I just need to check. So I don't keep getting notifications. Yeah, we're good. Now they're gonna write the place and then leave. Yeah. Maybe some goodies over here from the storage area? I'll let them decide. Over here, Cranky Daisy. How are you doing? Uh, so close yet so far away. Okay, we can continue to mine a few of these. I think hopefully that roof won't fall on anyone. Let's check the roof. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it will. But let's try and, and minimize the problems by establishing a Rather large no roof area, and maybe, just maybe, there we go. Liv is removing all of the roofs, as we can see here. So we can, like, mine this. There he goes, trying his best. The rest, I think, is overhead mountain, so I can't really do anything about it. Nope. There goes one. At least it didn't collapse on top of Cranky Daisy. Now, that poses a slight problem, but just a slight one is that I don't really have anything else for her to craft with. Other than those rocks. Um... Hmm... How am I going to do this? Well, I could have her... Uh, craft, well, all the smoke leaf, of course. Can one grow? Yes, just not the type. Tiger, but do you... Yeah, I cannot grow bad seasonal temperature. That's a okay. Um, 
What else can you do to get the crafting up? Also, I should get the pump filter at some point. I'm going to have her make clubs, I think. Clear all. Use stone blocks for that. Hopefully, she can get her crafting up through that. I think the crafting spot, uh, despite having multiple job quote unquote types, at least in the sulfa, always gives crafting experience. I think. Oh, Tanner and Bartos are new lovers. That is terrible. That is terrible because they will want to sleep together and. Unfortunately, I don't have the space for a double bed. Oops. Oh dear, she's fast with that. Um, I mean, sure if it works? Yes, it does. Alrighty then. That is all we could ask for. Keep that... Um, That, uh, all of that coming, really. You have a forbid tool. I'm just wondering because, well, I do want to copy, well, not, not this one, obviously, because wrong stone type, but I do want to copy this base. Then I can use the forbid tool to make them work on, you know, the rooms and kitchen first and stuff like that. Let's try not to make our third way station as much of a disaster as our second one. Drop pods and they didn't poke the ship enough. Oh well. That is terrible. This place is falling into ruins. Hey, okay. Mm. Thank you, Daisy. Really. What are you doing? Please, please get to the end of crafting. Come on. You're almost there. Just a few more useless stone clubs. Actually a little bit dumb. Mm, oh no. I was thinking make her build a chest over. That's construction experience. What? Why did I think that? It's like I haven't been playing this game for years. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's literal years now. 9000, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't think these give too much experience. It doesn't say work amount 9, it's not really... Not really much. Hmm. Anything else I could do with them? Shows, but I doubt shows have... Yeah, they have seven work amount. Let's see here, the sand, the blocks, the... Um, just in case, I don't think there's any there. They give it 27, so they were kind of better for experience. But again, nothing I can do about that, really. Oh dear, all the clubs. That is okay. It'll be fine. How terrible the DPS on these. Let's see, 3.7, 3.7. A siege! Oh no, not the siege! Um, over dramatizing much. Well. It looks like we are not going to be able to get into the second way station for this episode. But I will let the game run for a bit during... Well, not during, in between episodes. I don't know what I was saying. Just to let Crankier Daisy get to crafting level 10. And then we will start the moving. Until then, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. 
click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk, and if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.